Guys, in this video, I want to talk about naturally weak, genetically ungifted lifters and how they should approach the strength and muscle building process. This question was sent in from Ron T over at my site, Massive Iron. So I'm going to answer that, Ron. You'll be receiving a free copy of Massive Iron. Before I get into this topic, guys, I encourage you to check out my new book called Massive Iron. You can find the link below. Massive Iron will help you maximize nearly any training system. It'll help you maximize your sets, your workouts, and your progress. I guarantee it. So if you don't have Massive Iron, please check it out. So let's talk about genetically weak and genetically ungifted or, or lifters who believe they don't have genetic gifts when it comes to muscle building. How should they approach the muscle building and strength building process? Now before I get into that, I want to say that a lot of people assume that I was genetically gifted. Nothing could be further from the truth. 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 When I entered college, I weighed about 155 pounds. I was skinny fat. My wrists were only like 6.4 inches. I was small bone. I could barely bench press 95 pounds for three reps. So if you looked at all the numbers, all the data, all the evidence, all the, you know, everything, if I would have known then what I know now, I probably would have spooked myself and thought, I can't get very strong because small bone lifters don't have potential to get strong. I'm not going to gain as much muscle mass because small bone, naturally weak lifters don't have as much chance to gain muscle mass. If I would have known then what I know now, I probably would have spooked myself and God knows how that would have impacted my training. Myself, I always just focused on what I could control. Going into the gym and pushing every set, trying to gain reps on every set. And that's the basis for my rep goal system, which is found in my book. Um, I always just went in and I tried to improve every workout. If you think you don't have the genetics, if you think you're too small bone to do amazing things, if you think you don't have the genetics to, to build an incredible amount of muscle mass, you need to really set that aside. That's the best advice I can give you. You need to focus on what you can control. And what you can control is having a smart program, eating properly to match your goals, and most importantly, being consistent and going into the gym trying to improve every workout. If you do that for 10, 15 years, you're going to build more muscle and more strength than 99% of guys in gyms, regardless of your genetics, regardless of what you think your genetics are. You can only, you can only, your only choice in anything in life is to focus on what you can control. Even if you have piss poor genetics, even if you have a piss poor disposition to pack on strength, if you remain consistent and train smart and go in and try to improve every workout, you are going to be stronger and bigger than 99% of naturals in gyms. I guarantee it. That's no bullshit. I'm not just trying to encourage you. Most of these guys don't remain consistent. They're not pushing sets for as many reps as possible. They don't have that kind of focus. They get distracted. They'll go in and do pump stuff or whatever. They're not trying to improve every workout. This right here, this right here is the result of being small boned, of being small boned and naturally weak. That forearm and that tricep and that shoulder all come from hard work and consistency. It doesn't come from drugs. It doesn't come from natural gifts. And I'm not just trying to, you know, lift everybody up and say you can get as big as you want to. That's not what I'm trying to say here. You need to focus on the things you can control. You need to set aside all the potentials. Like, do I have the potential for this? Do I have the potential for that? Fall in love with progress in the gym. Go into the gym and live to improve your sets. If you hit seven reps on the bench press with 205 pounds this week, go in and try to hit eight or go in and try to hit nine. Try to improve. Try to live for improvement. If you do this, if you maximize sets, you are going to build muscle. You are going to build strength. And you're going to be focusing on the things you can control. And that's all that matters. 
Can you get as big and as strong as me? I don't know. But I guarantee if you listen to this advice and you focus on the things you can control, that you will get bigger and stronger than 99% of people in the gym. I'm age 46. I'm approaching age 47. I guarantee when I walk into any gym, any commercial gym, even if half the guys are on AAS, Juice, Performance Enhancers, which is the case in in uh, in this modern world. You walk into gyms and half the people are gassing. I'm still stronger than them. And I'm just as big as most of them. And that doesn't come from anything other than hard work, consistency, and trying to progress. So you might not be able to get as big as the greatest naturals in history. You might not be able to get as strong as the greatest natural power lifters in history but you can still get as big and as bigger and stronger than than you can even imagine you can build tons of muscle you can build tons of strength you can exceed your expectations so don't go into the gym with some predetermined idea of how big and how strong you can get focus on what you can control and that is consistency and progression and enjoy it enjoy lifting if you don't enjoy lifting if you start to heap these burdens on your shoulders like what can i do what if what if what if what if it's that stuff's not worth your time my secret my secret training program my my magic secret is that i like lifting you need to go into the gym and like lifting you need to go in the gym and just live to progress you need to enjoy the process you need to focus on the process don't worry about the results the results always come the impatient don't see the results and the people who get frustrated and think they don't have gifts never see the results so guys, I hope this video has been of some help. If you made it this far in this video and you haven't subscribed to my channel, please, please subscribe to my channel. I try to give you the best advice I can for my 28 years of training experience. If you enjoyed this video, please share it on Facebook, on some forum, anywhere you can. Give me some love. Help me grow this channel. And guys, again, I encourage you to check out my new book called Massive Iron. Massive Iron is not just one training system. It'll help you maximize any training system, I guarantee it. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.